All right, so we're gonna look at PowerShell's switch statement. And the switch statement is a really simple yet powerful statement, and it can be used in replace of nested if-else loops. It looks much cleaner. Um, so let's look at how this thing works. We start off with the word switch, followed by an expected input in parentheses, and then we have curly braces, which will contain our expected outcomes. Um, so what's happening is if I get a zero, I'm going to execute this block of code. If I get a one, I'm going to execute this block of code. So up here, my variable is grabbing a random number between zero and three. I'm plugging it into switch, and then switch knows what to do when it uh, receives an expected value. So as I run this code, you'll see that it outputs different values. Now, the reason default is being evaluated is because I'm getting 0 through 3, but I've only identified 0 through 2. So default is a way to tell it um, what to do if none of your expected conditions are met. So it's the, the default. Um, and let's see what else is going on here. Okay, I have these semicolons followed by the word break. Now the semicolon just separates two different pieces of code. So uh, right host right now thinks that I'm trying to supply it a parameter or something called break, but that's, that's not what I want. It's going to error out if I do that. So by supplying a semicolon, you can separate two commands and have them on the same line. I could equally put it on a different line, um, but this looks a little bit better, so we're doing that. And the break uh, basically tells switch to exit out. That's, that's all it does. So uh, by default, switch will uh, continue evaluating all of your other conditions if you don't tell it to break out. Uh, sometimes that can be useful. In my case, once I realize that it's zero, I know that it's not going to be one, two, or default. So by breaking out, it improves the efficiency of my code. And that's pretty much it. That's the the switch. Now I said that you can kind of use these in replacement of nested if else statements and I'll I'll show you an example of that real quick. So this is a script that basically grabs a bunch of file names from a folder recursively so it'll it'll grab all the file names in there and then I'm um, dumping them into this for each and I'm having each one of those file names that it grabs evaluated to see what kind of file it is and um, if it's a text file then it will add one to my text variable so it's gonna count each of these um, types of files if it's a text file exe or PHP so when I run this that's my output 21 text files 14 exe files three PHP files. Well, I can do the same thing with switch and it looks a little bit better. So let's look at how we do this in switch. And you'll see that I have reduced quite a bit of code there. And if I run it, it does the exact same thing. So let's look at what's going on here. Oh, here's the difference uh, between my first example and this one. Switch has a number of its own parameters. Uh, case sensitive, exact, file, parallel, regex. So I'm supplying it full file names. Um, I could refine it more to strip out the file name, but uh, I felt this was an easier way of doing it. By supplying the wildcard parameter, I can use a wildcard in my expected result. So if it finds anything with .txt at the end, it will execute this block of code and likewise for exe and php so that's that's really all there is to it it's it's uh, the same same thing as as we did in the first one for each iterates through the items and it hands that item to switch and then switch does its evaluation and then for each starts over again um, now here's i'll just show you this one thing i changed a couple of the uh, txt endings to start with a capital so if I put case sensitive here you'll see it only found 19 text files and I could even uh, 
change it to what I changed the file names to and run it and you'll see it found two different ones so that's that's the switch statement it, it can be used a uh, number of different ways and you've got different parameters to check out with it so I hope this was helpful thank you for watching